All right, so in this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to rename your server. So let's right click on the server and we're going to click start and normal start. So now that it's powered on, I'm going to hit right control and hit F and that'll bring it into full screen mode. And I have server manager here. So if you don't see server manager, you can click down here on the left and pop it up. Also make sure you're on the local server tab on the left and not under the dashboard. Otherwise you won't see this information. And right here under computer name, I'm going to click on this little blue text here. Okay, so I'm going to drag this to the middle of the screen so I can see what's going on. Now we can see the full computer name is this Windows and then some random string. And then we can see the work group. Now I'm going to click change. And here you can set it to be a member of a domain if you've set up a domain on your local network. Or you can set it to a work group. If you haven't set up a domain or you don't know what a domain is and you don't want to set it to the setting although it's really it would be good for you to look into how to set up a domain and uh, that'd be really valuable experience so you might want to chase that chase that down uh, I teach a course on that uh, by the way if you want to look into it or learn more about it so under the computer name I'm gonna change it to just T serve and I'm just gonna call it 2012 so stands for test server 2012 something I just made up you can make up whatever you want generally in enterprise environments I see server names being named after the airport code uh, whatever role they're taking on so if it's a domain controller it'll be named like DC 101 or if it's an update server it might be called US 101 or something like that so I'm gonna go with T serve 2012 so I know it's a 2012 server and I know it's a test server okay so I'm gonna click OK Okay, it's going to ask me to restart. I'm going to click close and then I'll be prompted to restart. So I'm going to say restart now. Okay, so let's log back in and let's make sure that it changed the computer name. Okay, so it's booting up. Here comes server manager. Now let's click on local server. And here we can see computer name is tserve2012. Alright, so that wraps up this lecture. Great job, and I'll see you in the next one.